In this Unity tutorial series, we will be using Playfab as a backend storage service for our Unity games in order to implement functions like user login and register, as well as saving any kind of player data that needs to be stored on a database and available online. In this video, we're going to look at how to set up and import the Playfab SDK into Unity so that we can begin using it in our games. The first step is to download the editor extensions package from the official Playfab GitHub. The link will be down in the description. If you just click on this link, you'll see that the editor extensions package will automatically download. Then you can open up your Unity project and just drag and drop the editor extensions package. Then you can just select all and import. Then the next step is to head to developer.playfab.com and create your Playfab account. Then once you've verified your account and logged in, you'll see that there is a default game in a default studio. We'll just leave it as is. You can go and rename it or create your own studios and games if you'd like to. But for now, we'll just go back to Unity and log into our Playfab account over here. Once you've logged in, you'll see this prompt that says no SDK is installed. So you just click install Playfab SDK. And then you'll see here, you have the latest SDK with the SDK version. Then if you head over to the settings, you can go to project and select your studio and it will automatically select your title. And now your SDK should be set up and ready to go. So in the next video, we'll be setting up uh, this UI over here. We'll be connecting it to our Playfab account and we'll be allowing users to actually register and log in through using the Unity UI.